I'm Ian again from Oak and Chain with another uh, low budget, low quality video uh, for my new uh, YouTube channel, uh, which I'm doing once again, not because I'm trying to be a YouTube superstar or anything like that, but just because I tend to ramble and the one minute video bullshit on Instagram kind of interferes with my rambling. So today I wanted to talk about um, my little tip or trick or whatever of how to have more time to kind of do arts and crafts is to have a full-time workspace uh, in which to do so. So here's our lovely apartment here. Uh, this is actually, uh, was a deciding factor for why we chose this apartment was it had this extra small room which we could use, a multi-purpose little room. Uh, let's go have a look, shall we? Oh, cats allowed in here. So here we go. Uh, so basically, uh, we've got a couple things going on here. The room's like a nice little size. We we, sometimes it's a guest bedroom uh, when the mother-in-law comes or whatever. But uh, we've got, uh, for example, uh, some stuff in storage here. We have a storage locker under in the basement, but because of the dampness and the moisture down our storage locker, plus the fact it literally is a medieval dungeon, um, anything that goes down there essentially gets moldy and mildewy. Uh, we've got uh, some of our winter clothes and stuff here we keep in storage off in the rack. Gonna one of these days work on a better solution for that. Here's my little uh, movable type drawer. Uh, I love these things for showing and displaying all my little knickknacks and all my little pieces. Uh, actually, up until a little while ago, I had all my different pieces and whatnot. Uh, packaged up and essentially in a, in a Tupperware bin type thing, but uh, like I don't really sell a, a ton of pieces and you know a lot of times my things would kind of sit in in these, in these packages for the longest time and I kind of like this a lot better. I like having it out where I can see it and look at it and draw inspiration from it and just kind of like look at my accomplishments. It's For me, I like it a lot better. I've got some nice places to keep my skulls and bones and things. But right down to the root of it here, um, <clears throat> this is where the magic happens, right? Here. This is my this is my work table. Now there's a couple things I really like about this. If you like me, love doing this, but you don't have a whole lot of time. Everyone's busy. A lot of people have jobs. I have a job. Um, it's really hard even on the weekend sometimes, to sort of find time and just kind of say, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about this bloody thing all week. I want to get to work on this new design, this new thing. Well, you know what? If you don't have a whole ton of time, everyone's got stuff to do. Uh, you've got to set up your place to work. You've got to clear everything off the kitchen table. You've got to bring everything out. You've got to make a mess and da 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 Forget it. This is great. This is actually an old beer hall table I bought on uh, Wilhelm. It's called, let's just call it German Craigslist, okay? And with the bench and the table, I made myself a nice big long work table. It's shitty old wood. I can bolt my vice onto it here. I can hammer nails and screws in if I burn it, which I've done several times. Who gives a shit? Um, the bench itself I actually screwed onto it. it. uses a shelf so I can keep all my stuff kind of out at eye level. Easy to see. Easy to keep at. So the cool thing about this is I've got a place. This is, this is my spot here. This doesn't get packed up with old books and newspapers or hanging laundry or tell nothing this is mine this is my little space and the cool thing about that is when i got a couple minutes and i got something just eating at my brain and after dinner and after shower i got an hour half hour hour before bed instead of like spending a half hour hour before bedtime uh getting everything set up and cleaning up i can just come in here sit down and work on it and when i'm done i can, I can leave it I can come back and pick up exactly where I left off the next day. In fact, that's what I did last night in a little project I'm working on. So this is something that not everyone can do. If you've got a teeny tiny little apartment, clearly it's a little bit difficult. If you've got a place that's, if that's got a garage and you can set up a little workbench, or you got a basement or an attic or a, an old sewing room or storage room or a big closet for that matter, this is a really great setup to have. Um, basically anything I typically need, um, to work on, to work with is in this little place here, either in these little boxes here. I try to keep it a little tidy and organized. All my little bits and pieces here, my little Tupperware things. The most old manny grandpa thing I've got here is of course my little jar thing. I kind of like that. I did that more for the aesthetic to be totally honest more than anything. But everything I got here 
I don't need to go digging around for anything, bringing anything out, hauling Tupperware things up to the kitchen table. It's all here. If you got the means to do so, I highly recommend it. I think the actual setup for this, which really, really was the bins on the table, I maybe spent tops, tops, 100 bucks to essentially create this. So I screwed a little power bar on the side here, the used table, some bins and stuff, no more than 100 bucks. And the amount of time it saves me, the amount of extra stuff it allows me to do on a regular basis by having a full time space to craft. And this, this, is, this is a great, I, I, I'm, actually trying, I'm actually trying to talk my wife into doing a mirror version of this on the other side of this room for her sewing. There's a, a ton of time where my wife would like to start sewing something, but you know, again, after the time we, we cook the dinner, we do this, we make our lunches for the next day, do 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 Then you got to clear out the space. Then you got to bring out the sewing machine. It'd be really cool. One of the things I want to do this year, hopefully, is set up a sewing table equivalent to this for her. So she's got a place where just, if she just wants to sew for 20 minutes, just boop, just sit down and start sewing. Can leave it there. Then not the point of anything, just a place where you can just leave it all out and have it always ready where you can come back and work on it. And if, like I say, if you got the ability to do so, I highly recommend it.